Hello, I just finished briefings with the County Council and various agencies on what the budget for 2013 will be, and I wanted to provide you with some of the information about the effect that's going to be on you. The budget is flat that I am proposing. It is a small increase of 0.8%, and I will explain some of the differences and, and how that goes. The tax rate, though, for citizens will remain at $1.04 for $100, and what that means for you is that your property tax bill should remain flat this year. Property tax revenues will actually decline by a million dollars because of that, and this is only the second year in the history of Harvard County that we will actually maintain a budget rate below the constant yield, so that is a benefit for our citizens who live here. There are no, unfortunately for this, the employees, there are no pay increases that are being suggested and no COLAs. But for the benefit of the employees, there are no changes in pension or health care benefits, nor will there be any proposals for furloughs or layoffs for this year for 2013. The education budget remains at about 51% of our total operating budget, and the total operating budget is about $480 million. For the sheriff and for public safety, it is about 20% of the budget. I can actually control about 16% of the budget, and my budget is only increasing by 0.02%. That is $14,000. And the only reason it isn't increasing at all is because the county council shifted several of their employees to my part of the budget instead of their part of the budget. Otherwise, the budget would have gone down. If you look at the different departments, when you see this, you'll see that nine of the departments are generally uh, decreasing and only two are really increasing. And again, those are because of the shifts to the in employees. Unfortunately, the governor has treated us very roughly. The Board of Education is losing $4 million in money that's been committed to them in the past by the, the state, so there is a decline in their budget. On the state side, I maintained a flat budget, exactly a flat budget for the Board of Education. And unfortunately, this does not include any damage that we're going to suffer from the teacher pension shift. We do not know until April 9th what that is going to cost us, but it will be somewhere between 3 and $10 million. So I can guarantee you I will not raise taxes to supply the funding that will pay for that. So those are the main issues. We do have a very constrained capital budget this year. What I will tell you is I hope that you can go on and our website at uh, www.davidcraig.com or if you can look on uh, Twitter and follow me at David R. Craig or if you wanna go on Facebook and do facebook.com slash David R. Craig, you'll find specifics about this. The actual budget will be available on our county website by Monday, April, Second. So thank you for listening.